hi all in this session we will explain how to add a new virtual server or ECS in Huawei cloud first we will click on service list and choose elastic cloud server my lab contains four ECS's I will create a new ECS we will click on buy ECS first we have to choose the billing mode if it is yearly or monthly or paper use if you want to create a new ECS for test or for short period use paper use next select the region where you want to create your ECS is it in Cairo in Riyadh in Hong Kong Hawaii has many regions all over the world I will choose Riyadh Riyadh contains three availability zones or three data centers you may let it random or choose specific data center your CPU architecture will be x86 then choose the specification of your hardware we will choose general computing plus and your ECS will contain two CPU and four giga RAM after that choose your operating system I will choose CentOS OS and its version 7.9 your hard disk type is high IO and its size is 40 gigabyte by default your ECS will be inside VBC default inside this VBC we have default subnet which is 192.168.00/24 next step choose your security group and security group act as a firewall in front of your ECS I will make it default security group to allow all ports if you want this machine to connect to internet and any computer or internet can connect to it assign elastic IP or real IP and choose your bandwidth size we will let it the default which is 5 megabit per second the name of ECS I will make it for example ECS test and choose the root password for your CentOS operating system finally check the agreement box and submit now your ECS is being created and it's running now you can log into your ECS by a remote login VNC login your username is root on your IP ifconfig use ifconfig to check your IP address we will try to ping on Google and we have reply this means that your ECS is connected to internet to close your ECS return back to ECS list and make stop to your ECS it will send you a confirmation code on your email to confirm that you want to stop your ECS note that your ECS has two IB one private IB and the other one is your EIB or real IB thank you and see you in the next session